So many of you have been teaching using Zoom, Skype and Teams and it's been fantastic for doing remote learning for your students and thankfully we have this technology. But someone asked me recently, how can you actually look at something like a book, show your students or actually maybe take some notes, write them down and we did try doing things like trying to write with the mouse or the trackpad and maybe even just using the pen on an iPad and it just didn't quite work the same. So what I've done here is I've got my iPhone and you could use another smartphone. I've got this ring light. You may have seen another video where I use this to actually make videos for myself so I could record and I could do this and then film like that. So I wouldn't be holding it, of course, I'd be tightening it up. But actually it can be used for filming other things. Like I've got this book in front of me and I might want to show something to the students and I want to talk about special effects and how that works and green screens and so on, which is very important when you're making films. So what I've got is an app on my phone. I'm using two on my iPhone. At the moment, I'm using one called NeuralCam Live. It's free. And there's another one made by Elgato called EpochCam. That's also free. And I've got links to their websites below. The EpochCam I could do wirelessly, which could be useful if you want to take it and move it around. Either one of them very good. But if you need to be a bit more mobile, then the Epoch Cam is for you. So I install it on there. It then takes me through the process of installing it on my Mac or on Windows. Both of them work on both of those operating systems. Now the software Epoch Cam and NeuralCam Live at the moment only work on the iPhone, but there's other software out there and you could Google it and find it there. So let's see how this works. I've got Zoom in front of me and it's the same kind of idea whether you're using Teams or Skype or any other kind of video conferencing. So I'm open here in a meeting and it could be a webinar as well. And you can see here that I've got the book in front of me and I could flip the pages and you could see more things in there. But how did I select the camera? And you can switch cameras. Down here in the bottom corner where it says stop video, if you click here, you'll see I've got some choices. The FaceTime HD camera is my built-in webcam. And if I click on it, it takes me straight back to here. And yes, it probably could do with a little clean with the lens. Always a good tip, clean the lenses. And at the moment I'm using Neural Cam Live and I can just switch to it here. You'll see here is the Epoch Cam and I've got others as well. I can do things like connect GoPros, my Canon SLR or mirrorless camera if you've got one, and you can look on their websites. They've got webcam facilities as well, so you could attach like this. You might need a different stand. I've got links to videos showing you how to connect a Canon camera. Not all Canon cameras can be connected. There's the GoPro 8 and 9, you can also do the same, and there are others too. So do check out those links. So this is really great because I could now be making notes, maybe not writing over a nice book like this, but if you've got a piece of paper and you're writing things down, it can be really useful. Perhaps you want to show people how to cook and maybe you've got some other things you want to show people how to do as well. So all you've got to do is take this light, put it up like this, and this is where the Epoch cam would be useful because you wouldn't need to have this cable attached. This is a fairly long cable. So that's useful too. And maybe I'll find a link for that and put that at the bottom here. Anything to help you out. I do have a website, shootwithschwartz.com, and there is a link to Zoom tutorials that you might find useful. Now, it might tell you that there's Zoom, but actually some of them are very useful for Skype and Teams as well. Trying to do my best to help you teach. Anything else you want to know about how to make films or any other sort of software, please do drop me a line and I'll try and do my best to create videos for them. Thanks for watching, happy teaching and stay safe.